Welcome everyone, my name is Bobby Techno from Bobby's Tech World and today I've got a well overdue video for you. It's on the Samsung Galaxy S4 and we're going to go through flash fire to do a backup of our phone. A backup of everything you have here, all your apps and where they were and everything else because now that we have root, which I had the link down below, and how to install flash fire, which is right here, we are also going to run a backup. So everything is there just in case something messes up so um, since the last few videos uh, things have updated so we're at the version um, Pro 0 .50 so I went ahead and purchased the, the Pro Edition which is great I really highly recommend it every now and then flash fire can be kind of finicky when it gets an update but I believe now there's a Play Store link and all that good stuff so no big deal here's so here we go you're gonna go ahead and hit add we're going to go to backup alright so you got all these and you're like well I don't know I don't know which one to back up well I'm just gonna stick with what I know so I'm gonna go to normal which is your car, uh, common partitions and what you have here is your location I don't have any kind of space for, to save anything like this because these Samsung phones plus all the stuff I have on here is pretty big file I don't have enough so you just click there and then I'm going to go to my SD card because I have 25 gigs free, my external SD. Click there. Your backup name, you can make it pretty much anything you want. You know, so I'm on, still on the OC1 edition. Many of y'all may be on a different um, uh, uh, OF1, I believe. That's the newest one. So take a look. This is a Verizon version, but um, it's the i545, okay? So... Flash fire should work if you have another version, but at least you gained root access. This should be just fine. So I'm going to, you know, you can customize this. You can do whatever you want to do with it. I'm just going to back out of that. Now, what's down here? There's a lot of things, and to me, it can get complicated. So I know I'll say boot. I'll say system, system, data, and internal storage. Okay, data is like pretty much your apps and all that, so all that stuff that you really like because if you want to try something that goes wrong you'll have to definitely reflash firmware through Odin that kind of stuff possibly and then reroute get on there get this going then reinstall um, flash fire and uh, restore what you've saved so all that stuff looks good none of this other stuff I would worry about and you hit the little check mark boop alright so Instructions, we can get that out of there, get that out of there too. Okay, whenever you get near to ask for permissions for root access and stuff like that, which is fine, you'll click that and you'll be good to go. Now, some common things if you, well, I don't only have one thing on here, but if you hold down on here, you can actually move this around to change your sequence of events. So sometimes that could be messed up when you're trying to flash something, you might have the sequence all off, but we'll get to that possibly in another video. But this is it, backup, these are the things I want. And after it's done, it's going to reboot my phone. So you just go ahead and hit flash. And it's going to say that'll take a minute or two. Kind of gives you that option one more time if you screw something up. But I don't think so. You're just making a backup. So I just hit OK. And then it um, does its little deal here, which is pretty cool. A nice little graphic. Uh, not quite sure if it's your true files that it shows and displays, but it's really neat uh, nonetheless. So there you go. Loan just like this, and yeah, some of y'all who still are rocking the S4s and stuff, I highly recommend to do some kind of custom stuff. There's a couple of ROMs out there, and we'll get to those eventually. But this is just fun, just you know, flashing a few files. You can change a couple of themes, some kind of um, other stuff. So it's pretty cool. So this is pretty much what it's doing down here. It's going to go through all of the uh, the things that we have checked and run backup. So I'm gonna just go ahead at this point, practically fast forward the video to the end. And there you have it. It's all done, finally. Whew. And now it's rebooting for us. So that will take a while to do. It depends on how much data you have on there. If you don't want the data, you don't. As long as you've got your system on here, then you can at least bring it back. But if you're going to flash, it just depends on what kind of uh, custom ROM you might have. But if you just have to flash the road and you know the, the factory firmware and stuff like that, then that's what you got to do. But it's no big deal. That was the backup. Now the phone's restarting, so once it's done restarting here, I'll show you exactly where uh, the files are located. 
All right, now that the phone is uh, booted up here, I'm going, show, I'm going to show you exactly where these files are located. So pretty much get like an ES file explorer or a nice file manager. And FlashFire was nice enough on the external SD card to install a FlashFire folder. Just click there. There's your backups. All right, the latest one is this one right here. So I'm going to just check the properties on that, and it should be like 9 gigs or something like that. Yeah, 9.25 gigs, okay? So you really, when you're doing the backup, you've got to stick with the phone and watch it because sometimes it'll air out and restart, and you'll think you have a decent backup, but you won't. It'll only be like a couple files and some kind of goofed up. So just try it again, or uninstall FlashFire, reinstall FlashFire, and just make sure that you have... Um, you know, uh, flash fire works for you and then it goes completely through. Okay, so it'll give you, know, you just sit there and look at the uh, amount of things when you go to the uh, backup here and it shows you the uh, files and, excuse me, like here, uh, you know, it shows you how much um, data you have, like, you know, nine, about nine gigs, you know, stuff like that. So you kind of get an idea of how much you're going to have. So just so you can always check that thing. Um, uh, there you go, let me back out of that. So you can check to see exactly how much you're going to be having once the backup is done to make sure you're on par, hopefully. So, and then with that backup complete, after you get this back on, if you screw something up or something ain't acting right, you can and then you can just do a restore. See if I got both both items right here ready for um, to be restored. So that's something uh, cool to think about and stuff. So you can click on which one, whichever one was best. But you can always go to wipe and then wipe some of your stuff like your system data and all that. But you never want to wipe internal storage. So that's pretty much it. So this is how you do a backup, okay? So if you get to the point where you want to do something custom, you need to back up your Samsung Galaxy S4, your stuff on here, just in case things don't go the way you want. Or if you want to try something else, then go back. You've got to, all your stuff is right here. All these apps that you work so hard to install and all that good stuff. So thank you all for watching. Um, I'll be doing another video on a custom uh, ROM here soon. There's two of them I really like. So thank you all for watching. I'm Bobby Techno from Bobby's Tech World, and I'm pulling chalks.